Hey, I'm Colin from Blackjack Apprenticeship. I'm here with my good friend David, also known as Loud and Often, and we have been professional blackjack players for roughly 15 years. In this video, we're gonna explain progressive betting, also known as the Martingale system, and if it can be used to be profitable at the blackjack tables, as well as the exact math of using this system. Hey guys, so like I said, we've been professional blackjack players for roughly 15 years. We've taken over one and a half million dollars from casinos. We've been a part of teams that have done a lot more than that. And we want to explain to you one of the most common mathematical systems people try to use to beat blackjack and it's called progressive betting. And David's got a dirty little secret. That's what I thought was going to work for me. So that was your first system you use in a casino. So why don't you explain it to people really quick. So you've got $10 here. Well, yeah. Well, if I lost that on the first bet, then I would double it and bet $20. Okay. What if you lose that $20? Hand? And then I would go to $40. And if you uh, lose that? I, I would be really scared and not know <laughs> what to do and go back to $10. Okay. A true Martingale progressive system, you would continue to double it mm -hmm. until you win. And once you win, what do you do? You go back to your Go back bet. to $10. So that's a, a one form progressive. So we were a part of a blackjack team called the church team and it was featured in a documentary. But my point of that story is that we we're called the church team because some of the players were from friends of ours from church. And I remember uh, an elder at the church I was going to at the time. And he's like, so I heard that you play blackjack because the word was out about me being a card counter. He said, I've got a system. He's like, I go to Vegas like twice a year and I've got a system and he starts to describe progressive betting. And I knew enough at this time to say, well, that's cool, but it doesn't work. And let me explain why progressive betting doesn't work. There are really two reasons. The first one is that you're going to get capped by the table limits. So let's say you're playing at a $5 table and you start with $5. Well, most casinos, if it's a $5 minimum, it's going to be at the most a $500 maximum. So you could only double your bets 5, 10, 20, 40, 80, 160, 320, and then you couldn't place an eighth bet. So you could only double seven times. But let's say you're at a casino that happened to have $5 all the way to a $2,000 maximum. You would still be capped by a tenth bet. So you could only double your bets nine times before that $2,000 maximum is gonna cap you. And you might be thinking, well, how often is that gonna happen? Well, how often is that gonna happen, David? Uh, like once every seven hours? That's right, that's right. Once every seven hours on average, you're going to be capped by this. And you might say, well, then I'll just play less than seven hours. But the point is, if you do this for very long, it won't work. It might work in the short term, it might, but it's not going to work over time. And so basically, is it a weighing system if it doesn't work over time? No. No, it's not a wing system. So that's the first reason is the table limits. But you might be saying, well, Colin, I'm going to play online and I'm going to start, you know, some much larger table minimum to table maximum option. And I'm going to explain why that won't work either. Let's say you're, you're thinking, well, Colin, I know an online casino or something like that, that's $5 to $10,000. And so, well, that way you could double your bets. I, I think it's 12 times before you're going to be limited. But Think about it this way. You would need $20,000 to recover your initial $5. So if you want a system that takes $20,000 to get that $5 back, you could try this, but it still isn't going to work. Even if you say, Colin, I've got an infinite bankroll and I want to use this progressive system because I can continue to double my bets to infinity, it still isn't going to work. And that's because the house edge is against you. If you're playing a blackjack game that had a 0% house edge, what, what does that mean? 0% house edge? Even. Yeah. So you've got just as good a chance to win as, as the dealer, then you could break even with Martingale with an infinite bankroll by infinitely doubling your bet always there never being a streak of losses that you couldn't recoup but that's not the reality of blackjack so how much of an edge does the house have against a perfect basic strategy player uh, a few percent about half of one percent yeah an average player a few percent perfect basic strategy player the casino has about half percent advantage what that means is this isn't a zero-sum game you still are playing a game with a disadvantage and if you don't trust my math on this you can read wizard of odds and other mathematicians that just break down the math that show martingale system progressive betting isn't a winning system what that means over the long haul it's not going to win 
Is there a winning blackjack system? There is. Uh, there is. <laughs> well, what is it? Counting cards. That's what we are. We're card counters. It's legal. We've done this legally to take millions of dollars out of casinos, and that's what we're about. If you want to learn how to actually beat the casino, card counting is based on math. It's based on logic. It's a repeatable system that over the long haul actually flips the casino's edge from the dealer to the player. That's why the first book on card counting was called Beat the Dealer because it is a system based on math to actually beat the dealer. If you want to learn more, that's what we're about. You can subscribe below, you can watch our videos, or you can check out more at blackjackapprenticeship.com.